from Amethi Smriti Rani, BJP Vice President and Member of Parliament of the Rajya Sabha fighting there against Rahul Gandhi, Sanjay Jha of the Congress Party, Sabha Nakvi of Outlook, Shahid Siddiqui, Chief Editor of Nai Dunya and Hartosh Singh Bal. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Miss, Miss Irani, specific charges, you know, Priyanka Gandhi takes you on directly. She takes you on consistently and she asked you on Saturday whether you had gone to Chandni Chowk after losing the seat to Kapil Sibal in 2004. You're not directly taking her on on her questions. Why is that? Firstly, Mrs. Vadra is not the candidate of the Congress party in Amethi. It's Mr. Rahul Gandhi, last I checked. Secondly, I would like to contest the opening lines of this particular debate where you say that it's uh, me uh, trying to put allegations on Mrs. Vadra. If uh, anybody who is here in Amethi uh, is reporting from the ground, they can certify and verify that it's Ms. Vadra who seeks out a headline every day, that it's Ms. Vadra who begins her campaign by trying to attack me and take a pot shot at me. And every time she makes such a statement, journalists approach is it, me for is my it, response. Is it worrying you? And is it worrying you that Priyanka is getting so much attention? Me? I think it's Ms. Vadra. No, I think that your camera person here tonight bears witness to the fact that I'm in the same spot that Mrs. Vadra was this evening, where only barely 50 people turned out to meet her and over 2,500 people turned out for our road show. I don't need to certify that. Times now a cameraman can speak for it. I would also like to say here that it's not me who is actually seeking out Mrs. Vadra for any kind of but she's asking an you specific or any kind questions. of statement. It is interesting. She's My asking specific you. answer is this. Chandni Chowk, Chandni Chowk is a constituency from which I was not elected. However, I have returned to that constituency and I have photographic evidence to prove what I am saying. Interestingly, Rahul Gandhi was elected the Member of Parliament from Amethi and has been missing not only from Parliament but also from the constituency. I don't know whether Mrs. Vadra is aware that I represent the people of Gujarat in the Upper House of Parliament so this, your and my not only parliamentary uh, record, but my work on the ground. The, the 11 no, references to Vadra. It's been a long time since. The 11 references to Vadra aimed at emphasizing the Robert Vadra connection. The 11 no, last I checked, she was Mrs. Vadra. No, no, but you are. No, no. Something is changed last I checked, the BJP leaders used to speak about her as Priyanka no. Gandhi. The strategic change? The strategic no, change? I always spoke about Mrs. Vadra as Mrs. Vadra. You don't address me as Smriti Malhotra, you address me as Smriti Irani. Unless that is a privilege only to be given to Mrs. Vadra and not people like us who are mere mortals. And I think what is also interesting is that those who make accusations and take pot shots about so much development in Amethi need to understand that this particular interview of Times Now is also taking place courtesy a gentleman who has been kind enough to lend us his generator. Fuel is about to run out and there is paucity of time. And this is a middle class family which is enamored by Arnab Goswami and hence given us their space and a generator and burning fuel at their cost so that I can communicate with you. So I need not say much about a Amethi. Your camera person is here. Is Sanjay Jai, is Sanjay Jai, is Priyanka Gandhi yourself. spending so much time? Go and see for is, yourself. Is Priyanka Gandhi spending so much time in Amethi because for the first time the Gandhi family is feeling threatened? Uh, Arnab, let me tell you, if you follow the elections of 2009 and 2004, uh, Priyanka Gandhi Vadra has been actually campaigning in Rai Bareli and Amethi consistently in all the general elections. Uh, and I would like to remind uh, Smriti Irani with due respects uh, that on the work done by Mr. Rahul Gandhi in Amethi, uh, there is a certain Mr. Gandhi in a neighboring constituency of Sultanpur who belongs, by the way, to her party who actually complimented the work having been done in MIT, who was forced to retract his statement, just like she was forced to retract her statement once when she went on to a fast and to death because she believed that Mr. Narendra Modi was responsible for the massacre of innocent people in Gujarat in 2002 and should resign as the chief minister the until the BJP I goons went and silenced her. So these are the facts on the table. I would like to. I would like to make a second point, Smriti. Let me finish. Smriti, let her complete. I'll, I'll let you have your turn. Let her complete. And the, and the second point is. Well, I've got you running out. Don't worry. Yes, please. Yeah. My my second point, Arnab, is that where issues of development are concerned, 
Where, well, let me tell you, you should please complain to the Akhilesh Yadav government because they are responsible for, you know, the electricity. It is not created by a constituency MP. So I can understand your grouse. Please complain to the Samajwadi Party government. But I want to make a point here that I can what list to you the extremely you solid development that has happened in Amiti. I have been there. I have been there. By the way, Smriti Rani, I have been to Amiti. And I can tell you, I can give you a whole long list of things, right down from linkages of railways, down to seven national highways that are there in Amiti that were not there. It was only one till five years ago. I can give you a list of institutions like the Information Technology Institute, like there is a complete, there's a footwear design and research yeah. institute, that Mr. Rahul Gandhi has actually empowered yeah. 10 to 12 lakh women. There has been a lot of development in Amiti. I think the fight is between yeah you and Mr. Kumar Vishwas to see who's going to come second and who's going to come third. I, I, Miss, 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 uh, Miss now, Irani, Mr. while you, while you respond, Allow while you Mr. respond, no, no, Miss, Miss Irani, while you respond, I am very curious here right now that neither is Digvijay Singh engaged in a war of words with Mr. Modi, neither is Sushma Swaraj nor is Chidambaram, but Mr. Modi refers to all three. Why this? attempt not to get into a crossfire with Priyanka Gandhi despite the fact that she is specifically taking on the BJP, your prime ministerial candidate and now you on directly. Is there a, is there a worry or a fear factor but involved? As far as I'm concerned, Arnab, last you covered the UP elections, Mrs. Vadra, who uh, Times Now seems to be enamored by, uh, did many an interview on your channel and other channels, but did not manage to wrest UP out of the hands of the Samajwadi Party, who uh, very curiously supports the Congress Party at the centre, supports Rahul Gandhi so much so that the Samajwadi Party does not have a Pratyashi here in Amethi. So it seems that only when they need to centre their relationship about, around but Miss, Miss Lekhi, you are caught in a, a Miss, 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 Miss Irani, no, Miss no, Irani, no. you are caught in a bind today, Miss Irani. I have not finished. No, Miss Irani, I am not caught in a bind. No, no, Miss Irani, let's come to the point. I am not caught in a bind. Viewers who are watching you Miss, know very well Miss, that I am answering a question. No, no, Miss, and Miss Irani, the, the uh, in the context of the Amethi crossfire, in the context of the Amethi crossfire, the question to you is this. What the Amethi no, no. crossfire? It is interesting that it's Mrs. Priyanka Vadra who seeks me out every day to attack me. What does that say about her Ms. campaign? Ms. Ms. It's obvious that she is Ms. 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 Irani. Every time that she attacks me, I welcome it Ms. because it actually exposes the exposes the hollow claims of the Congress Party that they are on a winning streak here. Ms. Ms. Let Ms. me also say Ms. this. Ms. Irani, just a minute. Just a minute, Ms. Irani. Party, ask your prime ministerial candidate. Them. Ask your Prime Ministerial candidate, Mr. Finish? Modi, why does he keep attacking Mr. Finish, Rahul Gandhi Mr. all the time? That's a I'm personal very, attack. I'm that very, is a personalized I'm very attack. Glad. No, I'm, I'm just, very glad. I'm just reminding you I'm that you can't have double standards. You can't have double changed. standards. I tell you what is double standard, Sanjay Jha. Double standards is talking about corruption, but allowing it to fester in your own home. Double standards is about talking about eradication of poverty, but not defining it in the terms of Are you, that are you referring power. to Gautam Adani? Double standards is talking about are you referring a relationship. To Babu Bhai Bukharia? Yeah, no, I'm are you I'm, referring you to Pushatam Sulanki? I think it's very... Mr. Are you referring Mr. to Anita Ben Patel? I tell you what is very yeah, no, obvious Gujarat to people who are watching of tonight. Corruption. I it's tell you what state. is very obvious to people it's tonight your home state. that Gujarat you are actually state. indulging in it slander. Is not just, it is not you just Mr. Indulging. Modi's home state. I, I it would, is also I would yours. request Ms. you. Irani, it is not. Mr. Irani, I, my, Mr. Irani, my question to you now. Now, Mr. Irani, Mr. Sanjay Jha. Mr. Sanjay Jha, my Ms. Irani did not answer my fundamental questions and I request you, Ms. Irani, to now pay attention and answer my questions here. We are talking here. We Mr. are talking Goswami, here, Ms. Irani, please listen. I have not answered. No, Ms. Irani, I have answered. not completed my question. Allow you must take some questions. Answer. Give me that courtesy. Ms. 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 Irani, unless, let me ask you a question. You have called me here not to hear an answer. Ms. Let Ms. me finish the answer to the first question. Ms. Irani, you have not answered my question. You have not answered my first question. I have answered your question and I have had an my, interjection by both. No, no, my question was, now. if you please Let listen, my first question was, and I request you not to, I request you, Ms. Irani, to please listen to the question. Please, Ms. Irani, listen to the question. We can keep this very short if we just listen to the questions. Ms. Irani, please listen to the question. 
Miss Irani, Miss Irani, listen I'm to the question. I'm not here to hear sermonizing, Arna. Miss, Miss here Irani, are you here questions. to listen to Let questions? How can you answer a question which has not been asked? Yeah, but Please I'm listen to the question. Them. Unless Miss it Irani, is your indulgence to only make people come and hear only your questions. Miss, Miss Irani, I, I request you to listen I to the question. Said, time is short. Miss, me Miss Irani, I know time is short, which is why you must listen to the question. This is not a speech. You see, this is not a rally. I request you to I listen to the question. Oh, it, I know it's not a speech. Then listen to I the question. What's the problem rally. with listening to the question? A speech? Do not shout at me, Arna. Miss, I'm not your punching bag. Miss Irani, will Allow you listen to, to the question? The question that you posed to me first. The question to you is Unless, this. Like I, I request said, you to listen to the question, now? Miss Irani. Why don't you want to listen to the question? My first question was... You don't want was, me to answer the first one. Miss Irani, I... I which is exactly, no, Miss Irani, my first... invited me only to your questions. Miss Irani, my answer. first question to you was this. And please don't get worked up. It's a simple question. My first yes. question was... I'm not... My first question was, I'm neither is Digvijay Singh nor is Sushma Swaraj nor is Chidambaram in a direct engagement here with Narendra Modi. But the responses are more to them and not to Priyanka Gandhi. Is there an attempt to avoid answering or taking on Priyanka Gandhi. One sec. That's question number one. And question number... Why you address me as Miss Irani and very peculiarly don't address Miss Vadra as Miss Vadra. Miss, Miss, Let uh, me answer the first part. Miss, Miss Irani, a, a woman's right... It is a woman's right to keep her maiden name. Arna. It's not... No, no, one second. It is a woman's right to Fine. keep her maiden name. Yes. No, no, absolutely So that is not something that I can, I can decide or anybody or you can decide for anyone. So Priyanka's, Priyanka's decision no, to no, keep Gandhi in her name is hers. You I can ask her. Mrs. Vadra has communicated to you Mi that she would not want to be known only by her maiden name. Miss, I'm Miss, not privy to that Miss Irani, can you please question. get into answering the question? Yes, thank you. Yes, can I get to that? Let me say this. I've not had the privilege of watching any news channel, Arna, because after sunset, there is nothing but darkness in Amethi. I will only say this, that there is a deliberate attempt to indulge in a slugfest by Congress party, particularly Mrs. Vadra, because when it comes to questions pertaining to development and good governance, you will not have a single question put forward to the Congress party answered by their leadership. And hence, there is a desperate attempt that an attack is launched on the first family of the Congress party so that sympathetic votes can be gained. Let me beseech you that people in this country have seen through that political setup and they are asking very decisive questions on development and good governance which are being particularly avoided by the Congress party. Now tell me what your next question Now the qu next question is to Hartosh Singh Bal and Sabana Fi. I want to get into the debate. Do you think this Priyanka's entry has given a different spin to the election especially last couple of weeks? Sabha, let me take that to you first. Uh, Arnab, I have no doubt that Smriti Irani is a very good campaigner. Given the grilling she has given you just now, that she is uh, she can uh, she she can campaign very well because she just silenced you for five minutes. Having said that, by by Saba, by Saba, 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 just a minute. She has shown Saba, Saba. Yeah. You see, I, if if you are a journalist yeah. and you ask a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I would ask my question for 30 minutes if required, Sabha, <laughs> till I get my answer. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it was, a, it was, a, it was good to see a, a sort of a little uh, powwow. Having said that, Arnab, there is no doubt that Priyanka Gandhi, uh, the, the, uh, you know, nobody really thought that they would lose Raiburili and Amethi, but a lot of assembly segments were lost to them. In the in the two in the assembly election two years ago, so there was an uphill uh, task when Priyanka Gandhi went there, and frankly, uh, she has shown herself to be a far more effective campaigner than her brother. She is able to connect to the people. She has personality. She has a natural charm. I may have issues with some of the content of what she's saying, but that's not the point here. We are talking about charisma. We are talking about a particular family. We are talking about a particular history. And she has that, and those, uh, th but that is not the, you know, so she's definitely making a difference in the region where I'm given to understand that uh, the Congress, which did so poorly in the first few rounds in Uttar Pradesh, they are, they are now in the battle in some of the seats, about eight seats in UP, they are possibly there, they're giving a fight over there. So uh, she has made a difference, I don't have any doubt about that. Just a little Arnab. caveat, Arnab. Uh, my family village is in Raibareli district and my aunt informs me that these days the power comes for 18 hours. You know, so just, uh, so, 
I mean, I'm surprised to hear that there is no piety now. It's pretty good by the standards of that part of UP. Because when I travelled in Gonda Basti, it was coming for two I'm to in three hours. Sabha, not in Raibareli. Mm -hmm. But let me say on a parting okay. note, Adnab. Thank you so much for having me on Newsal after a very, very long time. But let me say this, I second what Sabha says tonight, that Priyanka Gandhi's campaign actually highlights the failed leadership capabilities of Rahul Gandhi. Thank you. That's your synopsis, Smriti. That's your synopsis. Okay, that's, that's completely Smriti Rani's synopsis. Hartosh, Hartosh, at this stage of this particular political campaign, especially over the last 10 days or so, not just in the national media or elsewhere, do you think the focus has changed or do you think this is too late a shift for the Congress party to have brought Priyanka Gandhi into the battle? Should they have done this earlier? Look, I think, I don't know earlier or not because I think uh, the rhetorical tactics that Priyanka brings to these elections are short-term tactics and I think they will garner attention for some time. But I can't see how persistently she can refuse to address specific questions directed at her, whether it is about Robert Wadra or the development of Amethi. So I think, yes, it has attracted attention. It has short-term benefits. I don't think it changes this election. And I don't think it's a sustainable strategy on which to build for the future for Priyanka either. Right now, she's got the attention on herself. She's changed some of the mode of this campaign in that short-term impact she's been successful shahid siddiqui this fight there between priyanka and priyanka referring to modi on a daily basis has priyanka effectively eclipsed rahul gandhi as far as the congress campaign goes i mean where are the references to rahul gandhi and would would that not be something that the congress party itself some sections would be worried about i'll i'll agree with hartosh and I'll say that people were already bored and tired and even media was tired of the characters which were already there in this long drawn election. So uh, uh, entry of a new character with a new style of, uh, you know, speak, speaking and uh, uh, speaking emotionally and taking the battle in a, with a smile to the, to the, uh, to the BJP uh, fortress is 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 welcomed by everybody by the media and by the people so th that way priyanka has been able to make a lot of impact whether it will turn into votes i don't know but so far as amethi and raibareli are concerned i have been visiting there from 1977 onwards they they are not attached to congress party they are attached to the family and they are emotionally they go with any member of the family whether it's rahul or it's priyanka or it's sonia or it's it was rajiv ji and others so priyanka's campaigning there is very effective there and but the results what what we are seeing in UP has made Congress nervous, of course, even in uh, Raibarli and Amethi, and that's why they are working harder over there. But Priyanka uh, may make uh, headlines, but not much impact on voting. So what, if the BJP refuses to play ball, Sanjay Jha, what will you do? If the I BJ don't agree. Yes, yes, Sabha? Sorry? My question, Sabha, I, uh, Adnab, I think the Congress is very much in the fight. Uh, you know, the Congress was written off when we began this election. I, I myself uh, wrote them off in UP altogether, but now they are in the fight in Lucknow, in Kanpur, in Barabanki, in uh, Amethi Raibareli, of course. And today we've also heard, uh, you can confirm this for me, that uh, Mukhtar Ansari has backed the Congress candidate in Varanasi. So the fight uh, against Modi is going to not come from Kejriwal, but from the Congress over there. So the Congress is in the fight. So all these elections happen on chemistry. So I mean, no, I whether they Congress win or not lose, in the but fight. they're at least fighting the, the elections fight. in But Congress is something. going to do very badly in comparison to 2009. Yeah. In comparison to 2009, Congress is not going to do as well. No. And therefore, Congress is very much in the fight. It's not out of fight. No, of course. It's, it's uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't disagree. It's not losing in every yeah. constituency. Yes, they are very much. Yes. I mean, uh, I agree. They, they won't, won't do as well as 2009. But they're back in the fight. And I believe Priyanka Gandhi has had a role in that. Just, just the willingness to show that you're there, just to look like you in could win something. And I, if she had campaigned more, if she was willing to step out of rivalry in Nameti, there would be even more in the fight.
over surely, there. but then, but then, if the BJP refuses I mean, to I'm play really, ball, I'm then I'm what? I'm quite convinced. No, Sabha, if the BJP refuses to play ball, if the BJP refuses to get into a verbal sparring with Priyanka Gandhi, which is what she what she may want, if they steadfastly refuse to engage, the question Hartosh also asks a very relevant question. He says, then what? What dividends will you reap? It's not an effective long-term strategy by just being being there. You see, you can get the media attention for a couple of weeks. After that, then what? Arnab, can I answer that question? Arnab, then can what? I answer that question? Yes, Sanjay. And, uh, and by, the way, by the way, Sanjay, no, no, Sanjay, issues. Sanjay no, no, what, 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 is this not sending a negative message on the leadership of Rahul Gandhi that the entire national focus has totally shifted completely and totally away from the Congress party's vice president and the head of its campaign, Rahul Gandhi. Is that not something that the Congress party is concerned about? Well, I mean, the posters were all of Rahul Gandhi, but the focus is entirely a thousand percent on Priyanka Gandhi now. Uh, Arnab, on the contrary, if you see the issues that Priyanka Gandhi Vadra has raised in this election, they're the same ones that Mr. Gandhi has actually put in the forefront himself. She's in fact further augmented his argument. And I'll give you two examples. Mr. Gandhi was the first one who, in, in fact, by using the word toffee, he raised a big question on the crony capitalism in Gujarat, which Mr. Modi till today has not been able to convincingly answer. And Mr. Adani's answers that I've been reading are full of loopholes. And we'll give you a response to that. Number two, even in regards to Snoopgate that you know Priyanka has raised, these are all issues that Mr. Gandhi has, going, has been going on and on about his campaign. When he talked about women's empowerment that Mr. Modi talks about no, if, and if, said if, that women if, if themselves are unsafe in Gujarat, she's Mr. basically Adani's been reiterating that Mr. Snoopgate. No, one minute. People if Mr. Adani's it. arguments are full of loopholes, why has Rahul Gandhi not pointed those loopholes out till now? What is he waiting for? For Priyanka Gandhi to point them out? Well, let me... Well, let me tell you, isn't it strange that Mr. Modi, instead of answering his political adversary through a direct statement, uses a, you know, the, the corporate person to answer it? But let me tell you, the facts on Mr. Adani's case are all known. It is there in black and white. And I believe one of your panelists actually gave a clean chit to Mr. Adani. So, you know, we'll talk about that at some other point. But the critical point uh, is that Priyanka Gandhi Vadra has been raising issues not just related to Raipuri, in Amiti because uh, let me tell you that Smriti Rani is a face of the BJP. She is, uh, you know, gone to town and, you know, suddenly done a U-turn and has backtracked from her earlier belief that Mr. Modi should have resigned for the Gujarat pogrom. So these are issues that in a campaign you have to raise these issues. I think the development the of Amiti, was not that, I have been there, you know, the question years was ago, not that Sanjay Jha. 16 to 18 hours the of question, electricity. The question so was not the that. The issues are fundamental. The issues are national. The question was not that. The question was, where is Rahul Gandhi today? He was your face, he was your mascot, he was your symbol, he was your man to take on Narendra Modi. He still is. Well, maybe for the Congress party, but elsewhere? Uh, 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 Nationally, uh, uh, Arna, in the media? Uh, uh, Arna, Mr. Rahul Gandhi has been... Mr. Rahul Gandhi is visiting 29 states of India in the campaign. I mean, uh, Priyanka Gandhi you is know the, there in Raipurini in a meeting. You know, I mean, you know, the, you you know the context of my question. Who is the person who's spearing the I'll campaign? Take a, I'll and take let me a, repeat to you. Shahid Siddiqui not convinced. Let me repeat to you the point. Shahid Siddiqui uh, not convinced with that argument. Mr. And I'll Gandhi take his retort on the, the other side. Mr. Gandhi is going to candidate of a Congress-led UPA. Shahid Siddiqui not convinced with what you're saying. I'm amused. He says he's amused. I'm going to ask him why he's amused when I come back on the other side of a very quick break. Uh, I